Hello, colleagues, and good afternoon. What a full week this has been, so much to keep up with. Uh, we've been watching vaccine distributions uh, locally, which we hope will be picking up some speed very soon. I'll be communicating about that more as we learn more from the county and the state and finalize any new protocols that are needed by us here at Montgomery College. Uh, we're also watching enrollments for the spring session, which is just over a week away. We all know that the pandemic conditions have made enrollment more challenging for so many of our students. So we're trying to meet them where they are. Thank you to each and every one of you who have been making those extra phone calls to remind students about registration. I was reminded today just how much those make a difference to our students because they demonstrate to our students how much we care about them as students of this institution. Now, I know the violence at the Capitol and the ripple effects of it have been on everyone's mind this week. I could tell this from the energy at the Let's Talk event that took place on Tuesday. Now, I want to say thank you for your honesty. The emotion was raw and the reactions were authentic. And I was grateful for the faculty and staff who brought their disciplinary lenses to a robust conversation. And as we step back into the semester, I imagine that our students are experiencing many of the emotions that we heard on Tuesday, anger, anxiety, and fear. And we'll need to be able to walk them through those when they return in about 10 days, just after the inauguration. As educators in historic times, this is a great opportunity for us, especially those of us in the humanities, to use our expertise in history, political science, government, English, and so much more. But beyond that, each one of us has a role to play in meaningful civic engagement. Let's call out disinformation when we hear it. Let's deconstruct arguments that rely on false logic. Let's look to history for lessons about the fundamentals of democracy and the dictates of our constitution. In fact, let's work to give students as many tools as possible to interpret the upcoming inauguration and surrounding events with acuity. Now by coincidence, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday is Monday. And I'm thinking of one of my favorite quotes by him that says, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Critical thinking and information are perhaps our most powerful tools in this moment. And I cannot think of anything better in our community of educators to share this with them. Thank you for your commitment and your courage. And I look forward to seeing you at next week's virtual spring opening meeting. Until then, be safe and take care of yourself and each other.